don't accept the accelerated aging that we consider normal because it isn't. Our bodies are meant to be robust and resilient and how society has descended into this Dante's inferno of ill health is beyond me. Today, I want to myth bust the very tip of the anti-aging iceberg. And in doing so, my hope is the thoughts I'm going to share with you will pique your curiosity enough to seriously question all that you're seeing on this hot topic because most of it actually does little to help you reach your, your goal. So let's start, right? First of all, forget all the online and media claims and hype. We're all going to age and pass. This is the cycle of life, and that's the point I want to make, right? Dr. Oz and Dave Ashbury are not going to instantly change that with some new device or supplement. In fact, you are. And you start by getting proper information. You know, not the stuff you want to hear, but the stuff you need to hear. And that's why you're here, right? What each of us has control over is the rate of aging, aging right? However, this requires commitment, discipline, and work, especially during those initial phases of change. Second, it doesn't matter where you are on your journey because time is dynamic. So the time to get started is now. Time's not going to stop and wait for you. Third, because so much of the anti-aging sphere is focused on the external, what we can see and feel, right? Um, right? And this makes a lot of sense to you as a consumer. But think about this. It makes even more sense if you're providing a good or service. It really is the internal mechanisms of metabolism and physiology. Those very things you cannot see nor precisely feel which have to be addressed for real and sustainable results. So let's dive in. First of all, a lot of this is emotional because let's face it, none of us wants to grow old and that desire to retain our youth actually drives multi-billion dollar industries with people going to great expense to retain or regain the appearance of youth by using anti-aging offerings ranging from antioxidants to a myriad of cosmetic products and even procedures. These strategies if you'll call them that, are supposed to make you look and feel younger. But it's all to the tune of billions of dollars in sales of products and services. Now, due to modern online marketing, we react rather than analyze. And this is by design, what I call being sold, told, and controlled in a precise behavioral formula to get you to react and buy. Ironically, this Lever, this leverages modern technology to set in motion some primitive instincts. Once again, modern marketing has us hyper-focused on the convenient silver bullet externalities, the ones we perceive as a need rather than focusing on developing internal empowerment, both on a psychological and metabolic level. So without that internal work, those internal metabolic processes, the thinking, these are the things that you need to do because if you don't do them, aging is going to just keep going unabated. But if you do do that, you can slow aging to a crawl to where it's almost imperceptible. How? Well, let me start with a familiar example. Most of you have heard about free radicals, technically called reactive oxygen species or ROS for short. And you've heard how free radicals can cause all sorts of damage on a cellular level and systemic level if kept unchecked. Now, I could detour off into the weeds on the impacts of free radicals to your mitochondria, how they cause inflammation, glycation, and even how your telomeres get shortened. But the short message your brain receives are these. Free radicals are bad. Free radicals are a big part of the aging process. The more free radicals, the faster you will age. And finally, what can I do? Boom. In that precise family, in that precise formula, what happens next? You do some Googling and what pops up? 
Antioxidants. Yep, everything's got antioxidants in them, right? You get a simple info piece showing how antioxidants scavenge those damage-causing free radicals, thus preventing all kinds of cellular damage, and making a compelling case for increasing antioxidant intake, whether through foods or supplements to que quell that aging process. Now, unfortunately, the reality is more in what I call the murky middle. This is because it's not binary, because reactive oxygen species are a normal byproduct of metabolism. That's right, they're a normal byproduct, and actually a small amount signals an adaptive response which causes the body to become more robust, and that's a good thing. And here's an excerpt from a, the Nature Reviews on Molecular bio, Cell Biology. Reactive oxygen species is an umbrella term for an array of derivatives of molecular oxygen that occur as a normal attribute of aerobic life. So it's not me saying it, this is the science. And it's, it's science that's not disputed over, okay? What, it, what we're seeing in this murky middle is an overproduction of free radicals. That's what's damaging. This process is also known as oxidative stress. So while a tiny amount are probably good for you, a lot make you grow old faster. Additionally, an overabundance of free radicals is a key driver of systemic inflammation and can even trigger chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and cancer, as well as exacerbate any type of viral infection. I really want to clarify that while I endorse and practice consuming the recommended antioxidant foods, the point I want to make here is the conventional approach of increasing antioxidants. All these antioxidants you hear and read about, this is essentially a reactive approach. On the other hand, OFM's preventive approach seeks to minimize the creation of excess free radicals by driving higher levels of beta oxidation, the primary pathway of fat metabolism. And we do this by employing several strategy and why I came up with the OFM pyramid to help break things down into seven key strategies. And this proactive approach minimizes oxidative stress, thus prevents damage instead of a reactive approach of throwing a bunch of antioxidants into the mix to scavenge the free radicals once the damage ha has begun to occur. Think about that. I know it was a mouthful, but think about it. Prevent the damage vers and versus mitigate it. Now, if you are one of the thousands of people we've helped over the years, you know this already in the lower amounts of muscle soreness in the days following a tough workout or competition. It's not that you recover faster, it's that you prevented the damage in the first place. And this applies to aging process. Now, this strategy includes using VESPA, a natural catalyst which works with your body to drive higher levels of beta oxidation without any change to your diet or exercise. And research, testing, and real-world competition have demonstrated VESPA increases beta oxidation at all levels of aerobic metabolism. So we use VESPA as a tool, and it's a key tool, but it is just that. It's a tool. So if you're a person that's still unsure about this whole fat digestion process and has some challenges like getting off the couch or you've got to lose some weight or you're pre-diabetic, simply starting to use VESPA will give you a taste of being fat adapted and what it's about. And as you progress on your OFM journey, you can actually feel the reverse aging process begin to occur when you bring your metabolism back to that native physiology of burning fat as fuel. And several athletes of a certain age, they told me how they feel decades younger as a result of using VESPA and following the OFM protocols. And they do that for both their performance, but most of all, life. My name's Janet Pucci. Um, I just turned 71, oh my God. About 25 years ago, I finished uh, Western States. Wish I had Vespa then. Currently, I'm just enjoying running trails, doing marathons and 50Ks. But I think Vespa's kept me going. So let's go to this, back to the serenity prayer, because like the serenity prayer, we have to accept aging as something we cannot change. But we do not have to accept accelerated aging 
the one we consider normal because it isn't. This is something you actually can change. So in the words of the serenity prayer, have the courage to go against the acceptance of poor health as inevitable. As a society, we've made ill health all too convenient and we've made robust, resilient health way too hard and, and this is a problem. And chasing the quick and external solutions, the ones that make you look or feel younger, only dilute us from the internal work we need to do to attain the robust health necessary to slow the aging process to a crawl. Our bodies are meant to be robust and resilient, and how society has descended into this Dante's inferno of ill health is beyond me. Okay, well, to tell you the truth, I do know one reason why. It's because we're addicted to convenience, and we've taken advantage of these conveniences of modern life to the point that for many, they've gone past the point of no return. But guess what? Our athletes are living proof of how simple and sustainable regaining and retaining robust health is. And this is when you're OFM fat adapted. I'm one of them. I'm guinea pig numero uno. As for the wisdom to know the difference, that's where we can help. Due to the athletes I've worked with, my team and I, we have the experience, we continue to innovate, and we provide the information and products to guide you on your journey. In a sense, you don't have to grow up because your body has the ability to get back to having that child's boundless energy, sense of wonder, and zest for life. I'll leave you with this. Don't act your age. Defy it. Or, as my marketing guy might say, deftify it. All right. Uh, all right. This is where I'm supposed to do the call to action. Instead, today, I'm going to leave you to call yourself to action in the words of this Buddhist proverb. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. Sure, we can help. But until you get it, then make the decision to empower yourself with knowledge and action instead of ceding your power to another person or entity. You cannot find the success you're looking for. And I'd just simply be taking your money like everyone else. <laughs>